So I am sitting here with uh, Andre Lipinski, the winemaker at Culinary. We just finished a uh, great, a uh, great tasting of some of the new wines in their lineup. Um, specifically, wine that's not actually out yet, but it will be coming out soon. Uh, do you want to explain to us a little bit about the wine? Actually, this one what we have is the 2009. Our Cabernet Sauvignon, which was uh, I mean, this Amarone style wine, 100% dry food, and uh, spent 27 months in a barrel. Uh, this is going to be our top uh, red wine, which uh, we're going to probably uh, start selling in, in the summer, June, July. Uh, it's poor food, but it was dry for 60 days. 2009. 2009 was very cold vintage, that's why we decided to ride a little bit longer, but it's still lots of fruit over there, lots of fresh fruit. So, what, what is the drying process actually do? Well, the drying process, uh, see in Niagara, I mean, it's the same, I would say, in Veneto, the now is climate will be changing over there, but the to, the, the, this is a lack of the ripeness of the fruit, I would okay. say. That's why we're using the drying process. The same like you have any fruit, uh, when you pick and you leave for a few days, it's going to ripen. The same happens with the grapes. Okay. So, and depends on the year, how fruit is the ripe. We dry to make sure that we don't concentrate the greenness, but we involve the ripeness. Gotcha. So the other thing that you're sort of doing with the drying process is a series of dessert wines. Um, you call them the Fondo. I guess it's similar to uh, Ricciotto style, you were saying, which is also from the Veneto. Can you explain a little bit about uh, that? Exactly. The, you know, because Niagara is known for the ice wine, but it's another alternative, a little bit different. Uh, which they do the, in Veneto, but uh, they're doing some red ricciottos, sugar, and the white is uh, you know, so they're doing one white over there. This is what they grow. But we grow many different varieties. And uh, so we, we try to different uh, varieties to dry, and much longer drying process, of course, because the sugar level is much higher. It's between 30 35 bricks to, to 40 bricks sometimes we dry. And, uh, and pronounce the variety, but a little bit more concentrated. If you have the right. Gouverte Saminer, you taste that Gouverte Saminer, but it's very aromatic, very, very you know, ripe fruit, and uh, the, the, the nose is pretty pronounced, the same Sauvignon Blanc, or, yeah. Pino, or Pinot Grigio, and the Wittich Chenon Blanc, those four, four wines, and the different, different level of the sugar, and to complement, of course, the, the acidity and the sugar. And so, what, what do you think that it does differently than, than say, making ice wine? Because you're both sort of doing the same process, where yeah. you're, you're leaving behind water so to sort of concentrate fruit. But what, what sort of makes it different? Well, the, the also, to, to do a little bit as a cost, mm -hmm. we don't figure that it's a little bit less cost for us to do, so we can actually offer to the customer, the consumer, a better price point, because it's a half a price, which is the ice wine. Right. But so that's uh, like thirty dollars. Thirty dollars bottle wine. I said sixty, seventy dollars bottle wine on Benefra. So uh, it's actually twenty nine ninety five, and our Chenin Blanc is nineteen dollars. And uh, the consumer, you know, at the wider range, yeah. they like those wines. Right. Sweet of them. And also, they are a little bit less sweetness than the ice wines. This is more right. like great harvest. Right. And uh, selected harvest between forty to hundred grams of sugar. The depends on the, 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 the year, of course, right. and the quality. And so what does it do for the acid, the acidity? Yeah, when you dry, actually, acidity, you lose it a little bit, a little bit, but you also concentrate, of course. Okay. So acid is a little bit greater, but you don't uh, get a grade the same with the sugar. Okay. Acid goes a little bit lower. Right. Sugar is going a little bit higher. Right. Okay. So with the reds, actually, you're losing more acidity. Okay. Because you ferment to the dry. Right. right. Uh, but you lose a little bit acidity. With the with the whites, because you still leave the, the sugar, you have a little bit higher uh, acidity was was on the beginning. Right. But not the same, you know, I would say level what you what you what you actually raise with the sugar. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so uh, if people want to get these wines, where would they go to get them? Unfortunately, we just have at the winery. We can right. send to, to home in Ontario, in Canada, pretty much. Right. Uh, I would say hope it's going to be very soon in Canada because this right. is what the registration is going through the uh, But they pretty much at our store and we can, you know, by, by just ordering by on the line, you can send you home. Great, so if they visit the winery or they Absolutely. come down to uh, and visit your website, they can get those uh, shipped to you. Yes. Perfect.